Could you take us to break with some Shakespeare? Because I got to eat and pee and all, do all sorts of shit. By the way, Penn Gillette is going to be in studio. Uh, Tom Papa is in studio. Before you take us to break, what are you promoting, Tom? I'm uh, going to be at Denver's Comedy Works this weekend. We're going to be in Cleveland. In Den- You're going to Cleveland? Yep. It's a good room at Comedy Works. Yeah, I like the Comedy Works. It's good. Good. All right, take us to break with some Shakespeare. Tom Papa, everyone. I mentioned us from, being in Cleveland. Sorry. <laughs> from hard works, iron core, to the freedom of the porcelain urinal, <laughs> we breaketh now, but shall return to speak more of our Cleveland journey. No, you have to say mortals. Mortals? Oh, mortals, you mortals in there, you have to say mortals. From strike from these mortals' loins, we will... Return. Yes. That was more Games of Thrones-ish. <laughs> I'm so confused that, by Games of Thrones. It's good. <laughs> I don't understand it. You know what? All right. I got to say how something. Many, how many I new finally get into this I... fucking show because all the sex shit. <laughs> yes. And they go gay sex. I know. Someone has to say it. You know how many people were watching because the sex was amazing? I know. And then they go, oh, really? Well, look what we do now. Yeah. Gay sex. <laughs> well, HBO what was the, the gay-friendliest channel. It was. I don't understand what's happening on it. It's a good show. I, I, it's I was a just, great show, but I don't understand. Every week I have to learn a new, a new land and a new <laughs> king. A new language. <laughs> like, where did that guy come from? I just got it down what? to the Rakrithians. I was just, uh, you know, I, there's some downtime between the sex scenes. That's all I know. <laughs> right, exactly. And then they throw the gay sex in. I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to still watch. And you ever seen the point, Gregory? There's many interesting things happen. I'm Ted Lannister. Ted Lannister. Uh, Get but... my cup of... <laughs> I'm thirsty. <laughs> hey, there's a little dragon crawling over my testicles. Ow! It's breathing fire on me. I didn't know you were in Games of uh, Thrones. I most certainly am, Gregory. Yeah. Yeah. Ted Lannister. <laughs> That little bitch is sure as a crafty devil. Oh, he's always outsmarting me. Do you live in the castle? I most certainly do. I have to have windows put in. It's very windy. I wear a hairpiece, Gregory. They had hairpieces back then? They most certainly do. Yeah. Do you have a pet dragon? Yes, Thomas, I do. Sometimes he crawls on my testicles. He dances on them, do and you... he breathes fire on me. Do you have a maiden? I most certainly do not. Yeah. No, no, no maidens for Ted? I most certainly do not. I scared the little boy. He fell off the wall. <laughs> do you wander around the castle hoping to see some maidens I just like sex? to hear my voice echo, Gregory. I say I'm Ted Lannister, 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 Lannister. Lannister. Do you have a torch in your room so you can see? I do, yes, I do. Yeah. But I also have a big lighter, so the torch seems moot. <laughs> in your moat. Yes. <laughs> I like to take little boats and put them in my moat and go, <laughs> but there's no motor, so they're like, Ted of Lannister, why do you make a fat noise? <laughs> <laughs> the people at home can't see the great face that goes with this. Uh, yes, Ted is a fool. That's what makes Jimmy's impressions brilliant. Uh, Everyone has a different face. It's hilarious. And did anybody see? I know we're going to break, but did anybody see there was a special? Yes, I did. It was amazing. Oh, oh uh, well, it was a special on why men fuck other men in the ass. <laughs> 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 Oh, did you turn that one around? <laughs> no, there was a special on Discovery, which we I taped, but I didn't watch. It's about it was about like I think the Shroud of Turin. It was called the oh. Real Face of Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, it was, I saw the. Did you see it? Too. It was supposed to be really good, and I I did. I was it did, on DVR? It was when 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 uh when Lost was on V. I should have watched that. There was probably v. a big JC in the middle of it. <laughs> but I was wondering if anybody saw it. They could just Are put they it right in. Finally, that he looks like a Middle Eastern guy. Well, there's not a white guy with blue eyes. <clears throat> They're saying something how the Shroud of Torn was a negative. I don't know what they were doing. Yeah, there's blood but on it. But this carbon blood dating blood saying it was a fake. Or I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. And then they're saying that it couldn't have been carbon dated properly. I don't know anything about it. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not real. It's not real. What's not real? A whole fucking shebang. I think that's yeah, right. What well, Jesus lived. He real. lived, but. How do you know? Even that part of Jesus like, lived. How do we know? He's been too documented in too many oh, religions. Oh, he, He's too documented. Has. So is I'm not, fucking dragons. I'm not, I'm not saying he had magical powers, but, <laughs> but the guy, the fucking guy lived. So were dragons. True. You're right. Like, That's I what I do to my ass. I've been dragging it. <laughs>
It's yeah. just, I don't, it's just too much. We can't get shit straight from history a few hundred years ago. And, and you're going to tell me mm. to over 2,000 years and we got this shit down that we know one guy was walking around. So, hey, there was no fucking communication back then except for some guy that would run with some parchment, maybe. And get somewhere. So maybe that guy yeah, was we're responsible. supposed to know one motherfucker. <laughs> maybe that guy was responsible with his part. Oh, really? He yeah. was the guy that took yeah. it to... Well, then what about the guy he get to it and get... Everyone got Imagine. this right. From 2,000, over 2,000 years ago, everyone in between everyone. then and now got it right. And there was this guy, oh. one fucking guy just milling around the fucking uh, cradle of civilization oh. there, wherever the fuck he was. Imagine Jesus. Jerusalem. Imagine Jesus had to depend on a guy like Steve. Nazareth. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here who, is, here's who my is the words. Messiah? <laughs> right. Wait a minute. I was in a meeting with yes. pa Pontius Pilate. <laughs> I'm Judas C. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, I'll try to get it. This is Jesus on the phone. <laughs> I swear. Hey, man, this is Jesus. Hey, no, oh, I spelled his name wrong. Why is he saying his name oddly? No, yeah. he, I think he existed, but was he just a, a prophet or just a... Nah, too many, I, I think, here's why I believe it. Yeah. Because too many separate people wrote about him. As a guy who they w were seeing, or, or, or it's a legend. I think it's a legend. Well, they, people the, write a lot about legends nah, too they, and things. The guy, the, the guy, Loch Ness monster. The guy lived. Whether or not he had magical powers How or not, do you know? I believe. Cause I think the Romans wrote about yeah, him as yeah. well. He was just a documented figure of been, the time. He could have just been a homeless guy or something, but the guy lived. It's like yeah. saying, "How do you know Tiberius Caesar lived?" Or, yeah, exactly. or, or you know, well, you it know, is scary were, that you had to. Shit. It is scary that you depended on a very long game of telephone. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I hope they got it right over the years. Yeah, it's the longest game of telephone that started with like fucking. Worse than smoke signals, sure. And uh, up until you know nowadays with computers and stuff, you think it, they might have got everything was right. You think they might have got some of the info wrong? Over yes, absolutely. <laughs> Shit got fucked up. I'm with you. I'm That's with you. what I think. I'm with. They you. apparently screwed his name up. Yeah. No, so silly. What was it, Jim? I just heard that it wasn't Jesus. No. No. Do you have any idea what it might have been? One of the books said that his name was Ted Christ. <laughs> Ted Christ. I never heard that. Um, what the hell is Ted Christ? No. I'll heal ye, Gregory. <laughs> Testament of Ted. I took water and I turned it into crystal light. <laughs> well, that's very impressive. I think that we, anyone could do that. With that's little... not true. I did it. I took a bunch of fishes and turned them into more fishes by cutting them in half. <laughs> but that's not. I had 30 fishes, and I said I present E with 60 half fishes. But that's the same amount of fish. No, it's not. I'm working miracles. <laughs> <laughs> what about that walking on water thing? What's that? <laughs> walking on water. No, I walked through some water. I spoiled my sandals, Gregory. <laughs> I was very upset. Oh, you did well, wear the sandals. Although, I certainly did. Although I don't think Jesus walked on water. No, so. I walked through the, the water. You, you I had flip-flops on. Yeah. Now, the uh, resurrection. We got Easter coming up. This oh. is a very holy uh, yes! time. The resurrection of Jesus. Uh, back from the what dead. What does resurrection mean? That's all about my pet rabbit. He would hop around. I would yell, hop, hop. No, I don't think the bunnies have anything to do with this. It the certainly true, does. Uh, religious part of Easter, Ted. Oh, Christ. no. I had an erection. They misunderstood no. me. No resurrection. No, I had an erection. <laughs> they oh, misunderstood me. Oh, okay. It was tending out of my robe beautifully. <laughs> out of your little loincloth. In my loincloth. <laughs> The Romans were playing cards. Now, what about the Shroud of Turin? Uh, you, were you laid I don't under... even know who she is. <laughs> I met her one time at a party. That's a lie. <laughs> they said I left my dick print on her curtains. I did not. <laughs> Pack of lies. <laughs> Apparently so. Uh, Ted, uh, Ted Christ. All right. Uh, we got the name wrong. Yeah, that's... You have it. The name wrong. <laughs> you have it. Have it. <laughs> I gotta remember to talk to him yes. in that old school, oldie school kind of talk. Yes, Jerusalem, where they didn't speak English. Right? Yes, they did. Oh, they did. They certainly did. There's a lot of haveths. And... I haveth, I haveth not. You goeth forth. <laughs> Ow! My hands and feet are hurting. Oh, that's well, terrible. Well, why is that, Ted? Christ. I don't know why. They're punishing me for something. <laughs> Were you up on that cross? I certainly was. It was very painful. I said, take me down. They did. <laughs> they just took you down? We were doing a play. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's something I wanted to bring up, too, uh, about uh, Bloomberg. That's what he was talking about. Bloomberg. Bloom, you're bloom, not bloom. saying it right. Bloom, 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 Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Uh, mayor of the uh, Yeah, mayor of, New York. of, yeah, people, people are pretty savvy, you know, and like the mayor of New York. He's kind of I, a I national guy. All right. But, uh. He's, he, he was doing something about jobs, giving people jobs in the entertainment field and movie making over at the Silver Cup Studios. And it's uh, people that want to learn how to be uh, gaffers and lighting techs and uh, construct the dollies for the, the cameras and shit like that. And it's a good uh, foot in the door opportunity to get into movies. Yeah, sure. And then he goes, this is a diversity program. That is open to minorities and women. And, and I'm listening to this going, oh, okay, so white men need not apply. White men, stay the fuck out. Uh, it's was, like, that's not diversity. That's fucking racism. I was thinking the same thing. I, was, I heard that story on the way home yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I was like, wow, that sounds really cool. Sounds I would cool. like, you know, classes start soon. And I was like, oh, I'm interested in that. I would like to learn how to do that Imagine stuff. that, yeah. You're but a young the, guy. You want to get into that and i i wouldn't be able to no. because it's only you're a minority. Fuck out you're not you're a minority aren't you I am. aren't you guatemala guatemala you, you say that <laughs> wait a minute that's bloomberg was doing that yeah whitey whitey stay the fuck out whitey especially men need not fucking apply you know what's gonna get that job you know what's gonna get that job the same people that are writing your fucking tickets out on the street the same people that are doing customer service and working at DMV. Oh, I don't. Mm -hmm. Precious? Mm -hmm. Precious is going to be putting together Dolly fucking tracks just to roll her fat ass down the sidewalk. <laughs> uh, precious. That's who's going to get the fucking gigs. White men need not apply. Stay the fuck away. That's the point we've gotten to. And they call it a diversity program? Blow me. The word diversity has gotten to make uh, me sick. It's not diversity. It means whitey, stay away. You're not welcome. Yep. Well, yeah. We're we're a minority. That now. pissed me the fuck off when I heard that. We're the it's like just we're the new minority, right, Ant? Blatantly saying, well, no, but we're 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 being treated um, unfairly, and and for people to now they go, oh, but there were so many years. Go fuck your mother. I don't want to hear that <laughs> argument anymore. Everybody, look look at the White House. There, done. Problem solved. Shut up. Let's Anyone who, if you have the ability. That's what you should be based on, your no, ability. That's crazy. How about the content of your character and not the color of your skin? No. Remember that one? No, that's crazy. That's stupid. Yeah. He didn't actually that's write that. Talk. He didn't? Who did? I, I just made that up. <laughs> I just wanted to say something like really <laughs> attention-grabbing. I think he ripped it off from uh, Ted King. <laughs> oh, was it Ted King? I think We've had enough of this malarkey, white people. <laughs> yeah. We'd like some niceties, please. <laughs> yeah, see, Ted King. Ted Luther King? That's right. Ted Luther King was wow. the man. I had a dream. Really? I certainly did. I was very heavy sleeper, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> but what was the dream about? I don't quite recall. Was it, in, was it I think it was about me flying and eating toast. But, but that's <laughs> not going to rally the people. Uh, yes, very, I know. I really fire. cleared the mall on Washington quickly. <laughs> there was a whole bunch of people there in the mall, the great uh, mall watching you. Uh, Ted Luther King, and you were supposed to say something <laughs> inspirational. I did. I said everybody should just be nice to each other and wear hats. Why hats? I don't know because it was supposed to be raining that day. <laughs> well, Ted, this is not rallying. Did, you, did you say anything this about is... reaching the mountaintop? Yes. Yes, I did. I said, don't forget to bring a Sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I saw a special at Everest. A lot of people die ascending that mountaintop. <laughs> be very, very careful and bring a friend. Did you see inspired faces looking back at you that maybe we can overcome. I saw a lot of people walking away quickly. I think by inspirational message, they want us to get right to the streets and change things. <laughs> well, Ted Luther King. I think I inspire people to want to make changes. <laughs> How many people were part of your march? There were 71 people from the wall on Washington. Wow. I know. Someone I counted twice, or perhaps it was 70. <laughs> and they was very inspired. I guess. Wow. They ran right out to change things. <laughs> now, you marched down in uh, Selma also. Yes, I did. Yeah. Oh, no. I walked with a girl named Selma. Oh, oh okay. that's, yes. That's different. Yes. I thought maybe uh, you were I, marching in Selma, you know, because of I, the racism that was. Oh, was there racism in Selma? I didn't know that. <laughs> I, I, got I was a, marching for white people. I got a question for Ted Luther Oh, yes, King. Gregory. You do any sit-ins? 
Well, see, yes, I did. Yeah. I was in my chair, and I refused to get up until someone said, get up. I said, okay. <laughs> That's it? Yes. That's... I would block City Hall, and then a man said, you can't sit here. I said, all right, where should I sit? Do you feel you had uh, any... Um, <laughs> any uh... Part in getting rid of the Jim Crow uh, oh, laws. Yeah. Yes, I do. I said, too many go birds flying by duty and by far. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this Jim Crow? And why don't we just go back to the farm and the field where he belongs? <laughs> well, that might piss people off there, oh, Ted, Ted Luther King. Yeah. I mean, I was so angry that they made you, because now we only have half the water fountains we used to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never looked at it that way. Oh, you, know, you look at it one way. I say, Gavin, water fountain makers all over the country are going out of business. <laughs> this is terrible. I bet your uh, your uh, grandfather that must have sucked at uh, his uh, water fountain emporium. He must have gotten broke. Yes, he did have one. He had a water fountain emporium. They were made of solid gold. <laughs> wow. They were always being stolen. How much did he sell them for? $14,371. That was in the early 20s. That's what happened. The Great Depression came and wiped them out. How many did he end up selling? At he that sold price? three. Three. <laughs> and they were all stolen immediately from his warehouse. <laughs> Do you know he also made them out of cotton? They were very light and the water would still. <laughs> Soak up in them. That doesn't seem very good. Yeah. No, you'd press the button and cotton would stream out into your mouth. People were, nobody's thirst was quenched, Gregory. People were made thirsty. Oh, poor Ted Luther King. Uh, Damn. Ted Luther King. That was inspirational. That yes. Very inspirational. Yes, yes. I love Ted Luther King. I misunderstood. Somebody said Rosa Parks, so I went down with my mitt. I thought we were having a catch. I didn't know it was a person. No, it was, yes. She uh, she de de defied. Uh... I thought James Earl and Ray were three different people. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, yes, yeah, she didn't uh, she didn't give up her seat for a white person. Yes, but I thought she was breaking the rules, so I had her arrested. I didn't know. <laughs> Nobody told but me. But Ted Luther King, you're the one that's supposed to come to her defense. Well, yes. I did. I said I was sorry. I sent her an email. <laughs> an email. I said I'm very apologetic for my what happened before. A late apology. <laughs> yes, but then I sent an apology to the boss company too <laughs> why because i didn't like her breaking the rules, <laughs> the rules. yes <laughs> i love the bus who doesn't i serve sometimes i see rosie o'donnell on there we talk for hours <laughs> i wish sure epic you do. beard man would punch rosie in the face so like i did that that black gentleman <laughs> now anthony well, now it would be, it would be good there, uh, yeah, a bunch of those. I like watching those stupid crime shows on A and E and stuff. They always come. Kind of, she had Munchausen syndrome by proxy. This is a disease that women get from the bubble. You know and where the eleventh child got sick? Uh, yeah, yeah. People, People got... started asking questions. Really, eleven kids? You know where the name comes from? Uh, Baron von Munchausen. Stunt brain, you're fired. We don't need you anymore. All right. He came up with it on his own. You're out. Sorry. <laughs> you're right. Which was a movie. Uh, uh, Monty Python put out. I believe. <laughs> oh. No, I just knew that. Ted he was, Munchausen. He was a. Ted. <laughs> I'm Ted Munchausen. My baby's sick. Help! <laughs> <laughs> He's got the sniffles. He fell down the steps again. <laughs> Ted Munchausen. <laughs> oh no! My kids are dead. Give me a hug and some flowers. <laughs> Every character he does now is named Ted. Yeah, just go with it, Bill. <laughs> just, just, yeah. Same voice, everything. Uh, I was literally sitting just... here going, I didn't see that one. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that Monty Python. Ted has been many things on the show in recent <laughs> months. Yeah, he was a famous liar, this Baron guy. So what's David Blaine doing? David Blaine is staying up in Times Square. Forget this. 72 hours to help uh, Haiti. You just did that, but you didn't help Haiti. No, no, that was a coke bender. Yeah. Coking, of course. I haven't done cocaine in fucking <laughs> hours. No. Years. You used to like uh, doing a little doot doot back well, in the 80s when everybody else did. So David Blaine is going to stay awake for, for three days. For three days, he's going to be in Times Square doing uh, magical tricks. Doing his magical tricks uh, to help Haiti, yes. The 
not a superhuman. <laughs> no, he isn't. He Ted. certainly is. He's a demon. No, a demon. 72 consecutive hours without catching any Z's? The man is godlike. <laughs> no, he can't be godlike. Anyone can stay up for 72 hours. Uh, what's the longest you stayed up? Six hours and 27 minutes. <laughs> and then I fall asleep. I'm narcoleptic. <laughs> oh, we didn't know that <laughs> yes, about that. Sometimes I'll be talking, and I'll go, I think the answer is... <laughs> Do you have sleep apnea, too? Yes, I do. That's why I can't drive. I drive in 10-foot increments. <laughs> ten foot increments. I what pull over that. That would be. It takes me a long time. Yeah. 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 Fucking, there's David Blaine and the media all over it. I mean, obviously for a good cause, but uh, very self-serving on his part. He, Knowing He kn figured a way to get back into the media spotlight yeah. after that last disaster. What was Ugh. the last disaster? Sam was know. part of that one. Yeah, that was when he was hanging upside down. All oh, right. Like, I don't taking know. breaks every 20 minutes or yeah, something? Yeah, every 20 to 25 minutes. He was getting flipped over and hanging out in a well, cherry that's what picker. It is. He's constantly, like, cheating on his tricks. Knowing him with this one, it's 72 hours, but he'll take a sleep break every five <laughs> yeah. hours. Right. Uh, that will last an hour. We haven't heard from Bl uh, David Blaine since him since he was hanging upside down. But now, I mean, you go, you, but then you say, look, it's for Haiti, it's a good cause, and now the media's like, oh, okay. Even though we now know he's a hack, we we have to go with this. Oh yeah, now it's he's raising money for those poor people down there. When he was trying to do the big finish at the end, yeah, that just didn't work out at oh, all right, because yeah. nobody knew. He jumped off, and then a cable picked him up. He was supposed to disappear in midair, and he just didn't. They he just didn't watched him float here in midair. Well, he didn't. No, no the grand not. finale was a complete. Does that, you don't just remember all this? No, brain. we killed him. Sam was down there. He got to. You got to interview David Blaine, right? Yeah, I asked him why they call him the Mind Freak. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, he didn't like right. that too much. No. <laughs> but they finally exposed yeah, him for being the hack that he really is. I mean, when he does that street stuff, it's kind of cool to watch. But these big over-the-top stunts, you know, well, they were all a joke. They were all stuff that Hacky Morning Zoo radio shows were doing years and years ago. Gregory the Man floats in midair. He's a wizard. <laughs> He's not a he wizard. He certainly does. I watched him float. I laid underneath him for hours. He floated above me, I think. <laughs> How do you know? You might have been asleep. I think you were dreaming that. I think time. I perhaps was. I had on a wizard hat, and he floated above me. We cast his spells. I think that's real. <laughs> what were you practicing? Wizardry. <laughs> I want to be a wizard, a big wizard. <laughs> People always said, Tanny, you're going to amount to nothing. I said, well, to be a wizard cast a spell on you. <laughs> wizard. And then they would punch my face. <laughs> do you wear a mask when you sleep there, Ted, for your sleep apnea? Yes, I do. I wear a, I wear one of those masks I used to wear in World War II, but sometimes I close it and I can't breathe at all. <laughs> Gas mask. I forget to leave it open. <laughs> I'm gasping for air. <laughs> Uh, Chris S. from Indiana. This is worth taking a peek. Chris Rock does a great bit about the trickless magician. Do a trick, motherfucker. He, he's Stein serious? Is a, such what a, an idiot. What an out-of-touch douche. Uh, yeah, he's a fuddy-duddy. <laughs> does this guy know how to have fun? No. No, his kid did. He's, he's yeah. <laughs> That's why he was playing EverQuest. He wanted to escape that bore. Oh, any fantasy world would be having to live with that guy. I'd rather go bark hunting by myself. I want to build a a bark machine for EverQuest. <laughs> Whatever the queers do on that dumb game. Ugh. I'm dragon slaying. Shut up. You have to not. You have to make elixirs. Quiet nerd. Yes, I have to make a potion. You have to make an elixir. Yeah. I have to pick weeds and squeeze them into a potion so I can shut up. <laughs> shut up. What? People you enjoy dork? their video games, Ted. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Ted. 45 minutes gathering tools. <laughs> and In such. case I happen upon a dragon. <laughs> Did he say tools and such? I have, I, I, I'm getting some tools and such in case I happen upon <laughs> a dragon or a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> what are you in uh, EverQuest, Ted? Huh? Do you play this EverQuest, Ted? <laughs> I don't. No? You don't like to gather tools? And I don't stuff? like it. I was trying to build an amusement park and a dragon slew me. <laughs> <laughs> amusement park. Yeah, yeah. Ted's World of Fun, I was going to call it. <laughs> <laughs> and then a dragon slew him. Yes. Uh, you played that. You liked that game. Oh, I played it for years. Still got the character. What's his name? Still pay. Still pay for the character. What do you what mean you pay remote? for the? You have to pay to keep. Well, the you got to pay to yeah keep your guy. And what's his name? Your character. Oh, God, I forgot. I haven't played in so long. 
Keith's been, uh, you know, Wait, leveling I, him up. Can I jump in here? Anthony played the game for years and then discovered girls at his age. <laughs> well, so he said, like weird, at, like, at this ever quest. It's like weird science. <laughs> well, I was kind of married, you know, yeah. and that kind of started the whole thing. And yeah, oh, sure, you were playing while you were married. Ca caused some problems, you know, because I'd rather come home and play the video game. Than have sex. Than, uh, yeah. You don't play anymore. I don't ever see you. Never. I'm barely on the I would computer be... anymore. Good for you. You're right. Yeah. What would you do? Gather like things? I would gather things. Yes, I, you'd have to um, gather certain things and then uh, put them in machines. And based on your skill level, it would either uh, fail and you would lose like some of your stuff that you added in, or it would succeed and make your little elixir. And then you can go to the to the uh, bazaar area and sell it. Uh, for platinum and gold. But does it I spent six months gathering kindling and fruit roll-ups. <laughs> for what? <laughs> to build a fruit roll-up emporium. <laughs> <laughs> I go back to my room to fetch the gear he asked me to bring to Vegas. When I get back to his suite, Mansky is naked except for a black jock strap. Oh. Seems to be well fitted. His body turns me on. Hairy, strong, big nipples, nice thighs. Just a little bit of meat around his middle. Perfect. Too bad about his personality. Now, baby, we can get down to what you fucking came here for. Listen, Harry, I haven't used his name before. He said yes, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not say yes, Ted. Oh, no. I said, Harry, <laughs> I care a little like to bury my nose in your funky strength. <laughs> I'm Ted the Apostate. <laughs> and I engage in homosexual activities. <laughs> I knew I knew all along Ted was a little Ted the light, homosexual light in the loafers. Ted the yes. homosexual. Oh. Yes. I stretch my foot out of the partition and tap back. He bends over and sticks his hand out, so he wants to give me head. <laughs> <laughs> I still have a client upstairs. I'm not going to spew my sperm into some stranger's mouth for free. <laughs> I kneel on the floor, push his hand back, and grab one of his ankles. Meanwhile, two drunk guys of the earth are telling each other loud, dirty jokes. Cute boy kneels on the floor and slides his bare legs under the partition. Oh, Gregory, this is good reading. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, he slid himself under the partition? Yes, I closed the book, Anthony. I was getting chubby in the front of my khakis. I want to see how that ended. always wear khakis. I bet the guy uh, blew him. You need to know him. how it ends. Yeah. I bet he blew him. I'll bet he did. I'll bet he suckled that fat fireman's cap cock. <laughs> That's what Ted likes to do. <laughs> Pop it into my mouth. <laughs> That's the sound I make. <laughs> Teddy fruit. <laughs> uh, all right, well. How'd you like your asshole nuzzled, Gregory? <laughs> no, or how about okay. you, Anthony? Daniel, care for your balls right. being licked. Sure. <laughs> and uh, did you ever watch the Indianapolis 500 growing up? For some uh, yes. reason, I remember that being kind of cool to watch as a kid. But yeah, when they were you know thirteen channels on your TV, and not not so much as an adult. Watch. <laughs> yeah, isn't it all about NASCAR now? <laughs> no, some people are still very much uh, into indie. Do you even know who won? Could you even name one indie driver? Emerson Fittipaldi. <laughs> I'm going way back. Could you name one indie driver? Rick Mears. Harry Chapin. <laughs> <laughs> his body was yes. indie of his head. <laughs> Jane Mansfield. <laughs> Jimmy Dean. I bet you between us we can't name one driver. I, I certainly can't. Uh, I would I would just say Andretti. A.J. Foyt Jr. I would go with an Andretti. He's got to be racing. But yes. it's got to be some like uh, and grandson. Mario or... Andretti Jr. No. It's got to be past Jr. at this point, I'm thinking. Oh, uh, really? I, I don't know. That old? I don't know. Um, actually, so some dude won I the know, Indianapolis I know, I know, I know of one driver. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes, really? It's true. Yeah. yeah. Wonder who that is. 
Sheckler. Ted Sheckler. Yes. He drives Indy cars? Sponsored by Gas X. <laughs> <laughs> and kale pectate. It's nothing but nervous stomach products <laughs> pasted all over his car. The well, inside of my car smells like spoiled meat. <laughs> I get very frightened going that quickly. <laughs> And everybody's going faster than me. I'm beeping. Everybody's slow down. You have a horn on your Indian I car? certainly do. <laughs> I drink coffee. And I let out little quiet farts. <laughs> the pit crew hates it. They say my car smells like spoiled meat, Gregory. <laughs> I like that the the car is sponsored by nervous stomach just nervous <laughs> stomach stuff all over Pepto Bismol. And... Would you want to be the driver of that car? No, sponsored by nervous stomach products. nervous stomach products. Kale pectate, Pepto, Pepto, and, uh, a little Gas X, little Gas X. <laughs> That's that's wonderful. Sometimes I leak into my racing slacks. <laughs> slacks. I wear dress shoes. When I wear. <laughs> that's dangerous. I know. I wear a tuxedo. You should be wearing some kind of flame retardant suit. Sometimes my top hat blows off immediately. Why wear, would you wear a top hat? Why wouldn't you? Is the question. Who else wears the helmet? The helmet. There, exactly. I don't like that. I don't go above 55. <laughs> it's dangerous. But you're not going to win. And you're just going to be in everyone's way. But I'm, I, I say, who could do more laps? So after the race is over, I continue driving and <laughs> declare myself a winner. <laughs> Ted Sheckler's an idiot. He really is. <laughs> I pull over very quickly. I signal when I'm going into the pit crew. <laughs> you have blinkers? 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. <laughs> it's a very safe driver. Here we go. Ready? Let's see. There's two Andretti's still racing. Mm-hmm. And uh, A.J. Foyt the fourth. Holy shit. A.J. Foyt the fourth. Thank wow. you, Will Cor from Jersey. Uh, people are begging for the Ted bit animated <laughs> as the course. race car driver. That would be hysterical. Marco, yes. Marco, wait, now what do we got? Blinker going on while you pull off the pit. <laughs> He's trying to pull into the pit stop. His pit crew has got clothespins on their nose because <laughs> the smell of rotting meat. Yes, Ted. Yes. You know, sometimes my pit crew will make me wear those charcoal underpants. <laughs> it's supposed to make your farts smell better. I just get very nervous. I hear, vroom, vroom, but I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I fill up my slacks. I sharded one time by the third lap. <laughs> Big Tums sponsors on the front. <laughs> yes, Tums and K.O. Pictet. His sour stomach. God, he I has love a that. sour stomach. Yes. <laughs> got cramps. <laughs> I'm lactose intolerant. I drink a big thing of milk before I race. I don't know why. Well, it's a tradition that the winner actually downs a, a whole big thing of milk um, in the winner's circle. Oh. So that would be very bad if you were lactose intolerant. Yeah, you'd have to take some lactate or something before. I but there are sponsors, so that's that's good. I don't like racing wheels; they're too big. I like regular. I ride on donuts, four donuts. My pit crew's always yelling at me. They're like Theodore, you're losing badly. And I'm like, it's about endurance. They're like Ted, you're down by 378 laps. I'm like patience, my good man. My <laughs> I don't know how he ever got picked no. to be the driver. I'm very good. Oh, well, you are. I am. I like I, that. You like that, Gene? Yes, I need encouraging words. Sometimes there's no one home to cheer and say that the finish line is near. <laughs> <laughs> it is so bad. That is horrible. It's not horrible. We all need encouragement once in a while, Anthony. Oh, I think Ted, uh, Ted, Ted who? does. But uh, Ted? Yes. Are you a motivational speaker? I certainly am, Gregory. Ted, the motivational speaker? Yes, I can motivate anyone to do anything at any time. <laughs> really? All right. Bring, Probably. Bring in E-Rock. Okie dokie. E-Rock. We got Ted, the motivational speaker. He wants to talk to you. I certainly do. Ted, here's, uh, this is going to be a big challenge for you. This is E-Rock. What does he need to be motivated to do? Uh, well, huh. anything. Stop oh, let me, I can help out. You can trim that fat neck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank That's you, Ted. That's good. <laughs> You're welcome, Tank. <laughs> Tank Hanker. Battle of the bombing characters. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? 
Okay, here's a challenge. Contribute something to the radio program. <laughs> oh, damn. He just walked out. He certainly did. He didn't want to. He didn't want anything to do with you, Ted, the motivational speaker. Well, all right. <laughs> Shenanigans. Yes. You were born to be great, Ted. I certainly was. I All should right. go on my next tape. Because yeah. I, I screwed that one up. <laughs> yes, you did. I said, mediocrity is yours for the taking. <laughs> you might be able to do it. <laughs> but it's probably not. Yeah. Called Ted Sheckler's realistic, uh, whatever I forgot. <laughs> oh Sometimes Ted should, you can write a good joke. That's one for me. <laughs> So you got to have good roast jokes. Like if we were going to roast each other, we would all just have some good jokes. Oh, boy. <laughs> what, Jimmy? Go ahead. You what do you got? There, what do you got? I don't have any. My friend Ted likes to roast people. Oh, oh does Ted, Ted the roaster? Yes. Where is Ted? I haven't seen him. Jim before. Norton is so ugly, his family pictures hang themselves. <laughs> oh. That's a Milton Bro joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a good one, Here comes though. Ted. Ted? Um, what, Ted the roaster? What? Yeah, Jeffrey Ross's hair is so curly, I'll bet his brushes got to be used a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, wow, Ted. Wow, Ted. That's a, that's oh, a you got me, one. Ted. You got me. Thank you. That's a woo woo. That, that's a good opener. You got anything else on Jeffrey Ross there, Ted the Roaster? Jeffrey Ross's book has such a blue cover that it looks like. Where's the red there, Jeff? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what about how long it is? It's such a long book, to, to... If that book was any longer, I'd have to say something about it. <laughs> I don't think you're getting the spirit of the... I certainly am, Anthony. <laughs> yeah, he's Sorry. killing. Ted the Roaster's killing. I don't think you're getting the spirit of the roast. Of course I am. Ted, 20 bucks for a book. Can you believe that? Well, that's so unbelievable that I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good at this. <laughs> uh... Hey, Anthony, you have so many guns. What are you, the whole army or something? <laughs> 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 That's vicious, Ted. I don't, I don't take any prisoners. <laughs> Ted's working the room now. I Watch out. Am. Ted the roaster. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> Ted, have you ever roasted Milton Burrow? Who's Milton Burrow? <laughs> well, he's he's a... so old that I don't know him. <laughs> but Ted doesn't understand sometimes the spirit. Hey, Danny, I hear you've been drinking a lot. I hope you're driving and you're killed. <laughs> no, see, oh, that's, 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 that's going too far, Ted the roaster. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, Where's the funny in that? It's not funny. It's just yeah. really very mean wishing spirited. something horrible on factual. somebody. Right. <laughs> I like that. Ted the roaster, you could just nickname Toaster. <laughs> yeah, hey, Toaster. Hey, toaster. <laughs> oh, yeah, they call me the Toaster because I pop it up. And shake it around. <laughs> Throw you in the tub. What's that? What do you mean the tub? What type of talk is that? Ted the Roaster, you got anything on E-Rock? What's he, that? You got anything on E-Rock? He enjoys a good roast. Yeah, E-Rock sure does. E-Rock's neck is so fat that when he has a stroke, he'll be dead before help gets there. <laughs> no, Jesus. Yeah, that's wow. Terrible. That's good, right? That's uh, cutting deep, Toaster. Oh, cutting sorry. deep. <laughs> toaster Sheckler. I like that. <laughs> Sheckler. Ted Sheckler. What about Jim Norton, Toaster? You ever roasted Jim Norton? Oh. He's not really popular enough, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Holding a grudge because Comedy Central only asked nah, you for one? I respect that. I don't like me. I, I, Why don't I they like it? Well, it's, it's, it is what it is. It's okay. So I, I accept it. It's, I accept not like, it. it's not like they're doing five a year. I mean, you no, I know, but I mean, like, historically with the network, they just don't dig me. But mm -hmm. it's, yeah, whatever. You're too much of a potty mouth is what well, it is. Everyone has you're, their too, own taste. you're too dirty. You roasted Saget, right? That's because Bob requested me. Oh, okay. That's not to do with them. Oh, special request. Yeah, Bob's buddy. That was a great one. You were great. Thank you. They didn't think so. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony's shirt is so green. I'll put it to envious. That'd be the one I closed with. Yeah. <laughs> I would get a closed. standing ovation. You green. look like Chi Rivera. <laughs> Chi <laughs> Rivera. You know, I yeah, am right. The revolutionary. Huh? <laughs> 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 Ted Sheckler <laughs> rules. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Yeah. I've never seen that many freckles. <laughs> well, you know, it's just a birth thing. You know, there, I came that way. Oh, okay. Got Sorry. Three freckles. Yeah. They're going to call you Raggedy Andy Arms Ross. <laughs> I'm very sensitive, Ted, about that. I didn't mean to say that. I was molested. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not supposed to admit that. My Uncle Paul put his dingle in my mouth, Jeffrey. Really? It's yeah, it's, it smelled like sardine oil. Because he would eat sardines that hold his penis and slap my face. <laughs> This isn't good roast material. No, no, you're making everyone uncomfortable. Ted, this is really uh, I don't not try a good a lot. Line. Uncle Paul will just stay deeper. Deeper, Ted. Deeper. No. 
<laughs> I like to do roast too. <laughs> Paul the roaster, Uncle yeah. Paul the roaster. Anybody can be a roaster. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Ted's a hoot. <laughs> yeah, Ted's a good roaster. <laughs> All right, I think we're done. This is uh, super fun. Thank you for yeah, having me on. It, Book is it's cool. Been a while. Absolutely. I only roast the ones I love. It's fucking funny and busting balls without burning bridges. It's actually his editor is the same as mine, Trish, and Simon and Schuster, the same people. They give you total creative freedom, and uh, so it's fucking funny, man. What I read is really funny. Thank awesome. you. All right, yeah, come back and see us. Always, fellas. Very good. Great to see you. Thank you. And there's actually, I heard um, one thing no, about you didn't. The, I actually did. Oh. That in uh, in Boston, November 28th, and uh, oh, Buffalo wow. and Kansas City, I, I will be appearing, but I mentioned in Jeff's book. So if you bring Jeff's book to my appearances in those cities, we could talk about it. <laughs> How is that? Totally. Tr kind totally, of helped us both. Totally love that idea. <laughs> Any friend idea. of Norton's is a friend of mine. Hey, Later. I hear you like to roast a lot of people. What are you, chestnuts? Roastmastergeneral.com for your copy. You got it. Jeff. I'm going to be signing Jim Norton's book also. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Ted, you, you don't want... think Ted's roast lines are very Ted's sharp? Very stinks. Ted, give us one more before we leave today. One Ted's more. Bomb. You, got, you got Sam. Maybe you got Steve. Sam. Oh, Sam. Nice hair. Looks like you've got a couple of buns there. <laughs> Wow. wow, I didn't mean to hit so hard. Ted, did you ever did you ever roast Mackenzie Phillips? Who? Oh. You know, the girl who was molested who who had sex with her father? <laughs> That's a funny roast joke. Hey Mackenzie, I heard you had sex with your father. <laughs> did I tell you that I had sex with my uncle? Yes, but I yes. didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Paul told me he was going to tell him what I was smoking. <laughs> <laughs> but they were candy cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> he says he was going to tell my mother. <laughs> I uh, should <laughs> <laughs> Ted. Ted. Ted's a great roaster. You sure know how to uh, He's get He's on it. Hey, man, that's a great gray shirt, Gregory. Thank what you. are you, some kind of a battleship or something? <laughs> Just in from War or Harbors? <laughs> what? Is it Battleship What's the matter? Gray? Did you get it? I'm very good at this. <laughs> he's, he's the best. I Jeffrey. guess it's Move Battleship over. Gray, right? Yes. You've met your competition, Jeffrey Ross. Yeah. I love the brutal honesty, Ted. Brutal yeah. honesty. Yeah. yeah. He always goes too far. <laughs> right. Hey, nice curly hair, Anthony. What are you, fuck children? <laughs> wow. Where did that come from? Not... Wow. That, that's not yeah, going to get you on just... Comedy Central, Ted the Roaster. No. Yeah, you got to, you know, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think you get the gist of it. You got to soften up the edges a little bit. There's got to be a joke there. <laughs> oh. No. I thought that the curly hair thing would get a big laugh. Well. Then I ran out of steam and just added something. Fucking <laughs> 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 pedophile accusation. Sure, why not? I was winking when I said it. <laughs> oh, okay. Jim, I mean, uh, Ted, what about a sincere moment to close things off with? Sometimes ah, right, right. I say, you know, sometimes we have so much fun at these events, we forget that little boys are molested by family members. <laughs> no, and that we should never do that to a boy's hidey. Uh, <laughs> no, it does not always mean yes, Uncle Paul. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that would be a good closer, all right. Yeah, that's a great closer. He made me drink warm papaya juice out of a can while he fingered my backside angrily. <laughs> angrily? <laughs> Shouting bad things. Ted, dirty Ted. Oh, this explains everything about okay. Ted Sheckler. It certainly does. He told me that there were ghosts under my sheets, <laughs> and he had to protect me. <laughs> wow, oh. great way to end it. Ted yeah. the Roaster and Jeffrey Ross. Yeah. Jeffrey Ross, we're uh, we're out for today, guys. Thank Bye you. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. All right. All right, later. <laughs> Well, the 12 days of Christmas. Every day we're going to give you a little what? Christmas fun. Oh, I like that. You, you know the 12 days of Christmas? <laughs> yeah, uh, what? Well, it's, the price right. has gone up again this year. Oh, no, not this bit. <laughs> oh, I hate this bit. What does she want? Like, what? what is what is she it? She wants a bunch of horse shit. It's a... Uh, it is stupid. A partridge. Who the fuck wants a partridge? In a pear tree. Why would you want a pear tree? Because perhaps you like pears, and you're tired of buying them because the grocer always tries to molest your children. So you decide <laughs> to grow your own pears. Because the grocer fondles your children as you're bundling your pears. That's my thoughts. <laughs> Poor memory. <laughs> yes. I usually go to... Uh...
Ted's 12 Days of Christmas Emporium to buy everything. Oh, very it's nice. It's your one-stop shop. It certainly is. You get whatever dubs. you need. On the first day of Christmas, someone said to me, I like this for my tree. <laughs> no, that no, isn't it. it. It certainly is. It's a partridge in a pear tree. I don't have any pear trees. I had a bush. <laughs> well, can I get... Uh, what... A robin in a bush. No, what if I need turtle doves? I don't know what a turtle dove is. It sounds like a crossbreeding. <laughs> Turtles and doves never make love. The turtles bite them and the doves fly away. What about some, I need maids and milking? I don't know what maids milking means, Anthony. I don't either. What is that? I, I got mind. minute maids and milking. That's milk in a minute maid container. Boo, Ted. 12 days of Christmas Emporium stink. It's fantastic. No, it's not it's fantastic. full of holiday fun. But you don't have any of the real things that we need. What about five gold rings? I do have that. All right. Well, actually, they're not gold. They're black cock rings that I've spray painted gold. And I have four of them. <laughs> Where's the fifth one? You have to cut one in half and make two. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, I'm going somewhere else to get my. On Christmas. the first day of Christmas, my true love asked for me of the video of the Partridge family. <laughs> oh, no. I have that. <laughs> oh, God. He's got a fat. Just put, just Do put, something with Fresnels. <laughs> yeah. Just get put, some Fresnels. Just put some like Ted's Fresnel shop. What's a Fresnel? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lens that diffuses the light. I hate Fresnels. <laughs> I inherited one. I broke it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a glass yarmulke. <laughs> Hey, Jimmy, Down with Fresnels. <laughs> yes, Gregory. I no one hates a Fresnel. I despise Fresnels. <laughs> when I was a boy, my grandmama would put Fresnels on my testicles and punch them. <laughs> <laughs> I played football with a Fresnel chin strap. I was injured immediately. <laughs> huh. My father would drink and force me to toboggan in a Fresnel. Because Fresnels sometimes can magnify light. Yes, they do. I would ejaculate into a Fresnel and drink it. <laughs> yes. What the fuck? Yes. I was a boy of whimsy. <laughs> of whimsy. <laughs> whimsy. Whimsy. I love that word. The good thing about a Fresnel is a Fresnel could be flat, but yet act like a concave or convex uh, lens because of the way it's cut. It's like you're taking the wasted space out of a regular convex lens. Amazing. You're preaching to the choir. Oh, Anthony. You I know what? If you look at a lighthouse. The, I won't. The, the, I'm afraid I'll turn to salt like Lot's wife. <laughs> <laughs> what? Fuck. What the fuck? A lighthouse has a Fresnel on I it. I walk into one. I was like, how do boats avoid these? <laughs> 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 it just draws you right to it like a siren song. I ran headfirst into the lighthouse repeatedly until my father grabbed me by the scrotum and said, Ted, go home. Uh, Green Mile, uh, if you watch that, you'll see what the electric chairs look like. Why is it that the electric chair is like the only thing that hasn't been updated for forever. It's this old, like it's nailed together fucking two by fours and shit. Mm. Uh, old wood and these big metal clamps and shit like that. How come they haven't made a sleek, nice electric chair? Like, like everything else has been updated. You, you think they would make it uh, nice and comfy? Update the electric get some, chair. Get, get some nice armrests. Yeah, like look at our office <laughs> chairs that we have. They don't look like the office chairs from the 50s where, you know, Beaver Cleaver's dad would be sitting in the office. These are um, very, very modern and everything. The electric chairs, what? they should have, like, clamps that go around the arms electrically. Like, oh, right Not some on. guy some, screwing down the some thing. Some sci-fi movie shit. Yeah, they got all that stuff. It's not out of the realm of uh, uh, possibility. How do you get a, a company to build a new Build one? a new electric. That's where I'm going. Don't steal this idea. Me and Danny are going to get drunk and discuss how we can get a, a new electric chair market. Wait, Anthony, <laughs> is there a company out there somewhere that might be interested in... Uh, I wonder. Execution chairs. I don't know if there would be a company, company some uh, maybe a uh, young entrepreneur that would run a company that does nothing but make new electric chairs. Yeah, there's got to be some hmm. kind of company out there. Hmm. 
some young go-getter, someone that's uh, done a lot of things, that's an entrepreneur, <laughs> that might actually uh, 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 make... I know exactly what you're trying to do. <laughs> you like me to discuss the opening and closing of Ted's Hot Seat Emporium. I know exactly what you're doing. Opening you're trying to humiliate me again. Opening and closing, what happened? You didn't do very well. What happened, Ted? Because I opened up, it was a big metal chair with little electric things. <laughs> yes, that's kind of what it's supposed to be. And there were no do. straps. And you just sit down and they plug it in and zap you. <laughs> but what happened is I had a metal floor I sold with it. All the workers were dying. I'm being sued. Uh, litigation. Huh? Yes, litigation is killing me. My insurance only covered me up to forty-two hundred dollars. <laughs> How many people died? Uh, seven. <laughs> that could be a little more than that. I think so. Yes, I've been three hundred eighty-five thousand nine hundred seventy-one dollars and forty-eight cents so far. Why the metal floor? That seems stupid. I just thought it would sound funny if somebody dropped change on it. <laughs> I like the sound of tingling, tingling when they drop a nickel on the floor. <laughs> I, you're trying to taunt me, Gregory. I know exactly what you're doing. I won't be a part of it. Ken's Hot Seat Emporium didn't do well. Hot Seat Emporium. It's got a catchy name. It certainly does. I had a bunch of... I had 10,000 hats made with my insignia. Why would you have hats made, Ted? Well, because everybody loves a hot seat hat, Gregory. That's what I was told. It's like a little promotional thing. A young lady told me that while we were whispering sweet nothings to each other in the bedroom. <laughs> sweet nothings. Yes. What did you say? I said, I wonder why I should get a hat that implies how people die. And she said, how about Ted's Hot Seat Emporium? Hat. I said, that's very good. Ugh. <laughs> you come fast. Well, I certainly do. I want to ask. I want to ask uh, the person that uh, might be playing Ted for the radio yeah. when he realized that we were talking about. Oh, I'd probably say about five minutes into the old Bob Saget article, Gregory. I was perusing, and then I realized the two people were saying something in my direction. <laughs> I wish I wish I videotaped this. Uh, Ed and I are trying to trying to get Jimmy to do Ted, and Jimmy is deep into an article. Like, yeah. no I wonder idea. what young entrepreneur would uh, make new electric chairs. And Jimmy's got like like his brow is furrowed, and he's reading an article like mm, yeah yeah. And we're looking, going oh no, he doesn't know what we're talking about. And then he slowly, and then you watch him slowly wake up, wake up to the fact that we're trying to get him to do Ted. That's not true, Gregory. I was being coy. <laughs> oh, then you start looking around the room like, uh-oh, I think they're talking about me. Oh, I was looking fuck. at this uh, picture of Bob Saget and the Olsen twins. Apparently they did a thing at Caroline's. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, we got a little food that. recall. People are going to be depressed on this one. Yeah, I love these things. I don't know what Ted's going to do because I think Ted owns a little, uh, oh, no. a, lo a little emporium. I didn't think about that. Yeah, poor Ted. This is what they're recalling today. It's another warning of possible salmonella contamination oh, from no! the FDA. Oh, no! Don't tell me it's my pistachios! Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> wow, Ted. Ted, it is. I knew there was something yeah. dicey about them. Yeah. It is your I pistachios. I buy refurbished pistachios. <laughs> <What do you laughs> refurbished? How do you buy refurbished pistachios? What the hell is that? I yeah. just go and I pick up the shells and I very carefully glue them back together <laughs> and place the fresh pistachio inside. That would, ha that would take forever. How how many do you get it is done time in... consuming, Gregory. That's an excellent point. How many do you get done in a day? Oh, 30 or 40 pistachios. <laughs> oh a day? How yes. do you stay in business? It's not easy, Gregory. I have to cut costs. I had to fire my eight-person staff. Eight people. <laughs> I had one guy who was a driver, the other guy who was in charge of finding the shells, another guy who was in charge of matching up the, the shells, another guy that was... It was really busy work. That sounds like a very busy operation. Well, let, you better listen closely here, Ted. It's another warning of possible salmonella contamination from the FDA. Oh. The government is urging consumers to stay away from all foods containing pistachios while investigators figure out the source of a possible salmonella contamination. The nation's second largest pistachio processor, Seton Pistachio of California, is voluntarily recalling more than two million pounds of nuts that it's been shipping since last fall. Somebody get me an address as to where they're going. <laughs> I'm going to take some and sell them. I'm behind on schedule. The amazing part of that story, yeah, you heard it too. Two million pounds of pistachio. You ever like just dig your hand into a thing of pistachios, and it's it's the lightest. They're food very ever. light. There's a lot of air in those shells. Two. The little nut itself is like million. weighs nothing. Pounds. That's got to fill up a, a building. Isn't that like two thousand tons? I don't know.
or a thousand tons? I don't know. That's a lot of p- 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 pistachios. pistachios. The problem was discovered during routine testing by Kraft Foods on pistachios Ooh. supplied by Sutton. Kroger grocery stores have also recalled one of their pistachio lines supplied by the pistachios. California company. Mm. It could take weeks to figure out how many products could be affected by the possible salmonella outbreak. Earlier this year, an ongoing salmonella outbreak was blamed on tainted peanuts from a Georgia plant. Mm, yeah, there you go. Watch them nuts. Problems with the nuts. Uh, Problem with your nuts. <laughs> you got the red pistachios, Ted? Where the, the, the shells are dyed or you go regular? Well, I, I've... Oh, boy. I, oh, boy. I paint them. <laughs> you paint them? I hand paint them. You hand paint your pistachios? Yes, I do, Gregory. They're like art. Look, with you gluing and only getting 30 a day and then hand painting them... How much do you charge for a bag of pistachios, and how many are in it? Yeah. Uh, usually a bag will have 10 to 12 delicious, freshly hand-painted pistachios for a very, very reasonable $37.50. <laughs> $37? 50 Oh, 50 $37.50. Oh. $37.50. Yes, sorry. that's a surcharge. It's a usage surcharge. <laughs> usage of pistachio usage yes, charge? Yes, because I get little cuts on my fingers from oh. handling the shells. <laughs> I have very delicate fingers. They called me. They called me Sweet Finger Teddy in school. <laughs> I don't want to go out on a limb here, Ted, but you're a horrible businessman. No, I'm not, you're, Gregory. You're I just horrible. I take care with everything I do. He tries so hard with every product. Yeah. Yet it's just he, yeah, he has no business. Sense. I'm meticulous. <laughs> yes, you are, Ted. A lot of your businesses are going under, though. It really has been very difficult these economic times. You sure, it's the economic times and not. Uh, what you're doing? My business model business may wise? need a revamp. Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> uh, Twenty. Wait. Two. All right. Two zero 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 zero. So let me. All right. Two million pounds equals one thousand tons. Ants right. A thousand tons. Yeah. Okay. Is that right? How do you How do you make that math problem work? Well, it's. Uh, I just eliminated the. Three of uh, zeros at the end of the million, because right. you know two thousand pounds is a ton. Right. So then you take the two, and you turn it into a one. Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I did it. No, real stu- I did it stupidly without any math technique at no, all. You know what? I just used the number visually and Dude, chopped things off of it. We- I'm the stupid one. We're on two different uh, pages. I was thinking volume, like how many pistachios would oh. that be? You know yeah. what I mean? Oof. Oh, how many individual pistachios? Well, yeah, the, the volume that that would be. Would how many be pistachios are in a pound? Right, that's, that's a lot I'm of saying. fucking pistachios. Four, four, <laughs> Ted. Yeah, yes, just, that's impossible. I pack each pistachio shell with deliciousness, Gregory. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you get the pistachios themselves? Because you said you're. Well, really... if I tell you that, then there'll be a whole big bunch of emporiums opening, won't there? <laughs> Emporium. That for me to know and your palate to find out. <laughs> That's, that's where I got a problem with your business plan, because you're re-gluing the shells, but you still got to find the delicious nut from somewhere. Well, okay, I'll tell you what happens. Oh, is, no, right. You know how people eat a pistachio treat, and then sometimes there's that one, they can glue back on their teeth and they can't open, so they throw it out? Yeah. I make use of those. <laughs> then what, do you cut them open? Yes, I do. I have a little chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll back over them with my car if I'm in a hurry. <laughs> By the way, a pound of pistachios averages out to 540 uh, pistachios. Don't publicly pound. disagree with me, Daniel. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I can't believe we're figuring out how many pistachios this is. Wait, 540 per pound? Per pound. Wow. And then, you, so you take 540 wow. and multiply it by... Two million. Two million. <laughs> wow. 540. That's the, uh, just, 100, uh, 1, one billion. One billion. One point one point one billion. One point oh eight billion. Yeah, oh eight in there somewhere, right? I actually w- took a tour of a shot put factory once, Shut and this up. guy, this guy Ted, You're owned it. A- oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, he made shot puts, and uh, it was yeah. just every four years. It was yeah. the only time he actually sold them for the Seems Summer like Olympics. That's business. right. I really, I run out of work very quickly. <laughs> oh my God! I'm very popular. Ten shot put palace. <laughs> <laughs> For the other three years, I sold grass flavored ice cream. <laughs> Very popular with cows. <laughs> People like to throw things with their palms. That's why the shot put is so popular. <laughs> <laughs> their palms. The shot put isn't very popular. There's really nothing. No one plays shot put. 
you know, you could even as a kid, you could take a stick and throw it like a javelin. Dude, you ever, <laughs> you ever? I did some shot I did some track and field when I was growing up, and you try a lot. Of course, of, you did. You try a lot of different events. You ever try to throw a shot put? It's just no. It's yes. just exhausting. <laughs> you, you have Ted? Yes, I dropped it on my ankle bone. <laughs> and I dropped it on the bridge of my foot. Ow. I like to shot put Nerf objects. <laughs> It's just exhausting. There is a, the move you have to make, which is that it's, roundy round thing to right. gain some momentum, to put some energy in the shot put before you put it. Everything, yes. and, and I could never master that in gym when, class. When you're 14 years old, everything shouldn't hurt. <laughs> that's that's what happens to middle-aged men, not 14-year-olds. That yeah. shot put is a disaster. But it's also a popular day, uh, 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 dance, Gregory. <laughs> I do the shot put when I go. <laughs> the shot put. Yes, clear clear the dance floor, Ted's coming. <laughs> and I'll hold a colostomy bag in my hand and circular shot put for hours. Spray flex of cancer patient duty on everyone. <laughs> How many shot put jokes do you think I can come up with? We should have a shot put Damn throwing Ted. contest in studio with the gang. Because no one's going to get into no that. No one's getting past, past the couch. Right. The shot put weighs 16 pounds. Oh, 16 pounds? Dude, it just sucks. And the record. Like, uh, who would do this? Yeah, what is the record? That sounds like it can't be real, but it has to be 75 feet. Holy, Holy shit. shit. How do you do that? Yes, that? but he was throwing downhill. <laughs> That's a very tainted record, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> it fell 70, 75 feet straight down the embankment. It rolled. 75 feet? I don't think you could throw a, a, a baseball that far. That is hot. A 16-pound piece of metal. I can't even bowl with a 16-pound ball. <laughs> oh, no. How am I going to throw it somewhere? <laughs> How are you going to throw it 75 uh, feet? How many lanes is that? I have to confess, 10 shot put palace is closing because I was making glass shot puts. <laughs> Nobody wanted to purchase them. <laughs> they were breaking. <laughs> you got it, Jim. Yes. Yes, Ted. I'm glad you stopped right, by we, to clear we, that up. Well, you oh, shouldn't have mentioned my name, fuck. I was I was sleeping at home. Here's, here's you know, doing cancer. I'm sorry. No, it's there's right. a we're, shot putter. Yeah, we're looking at video of Adam Nelson as and he they tuck it in like by the He's a jack. hack. He's a cheat, that Adam Nelson. <laughs> Look at me, fuck fucking that. get out of here. Why How the he, fuck does he do that? Why does he do that? He spins around like a retard. Yes. It's like Jimmy in left field. Yes. <laughs> in right field. Right field, sorry. <laughs> Spinning like a ballerina. You know, you know, everyone has their thing in life. How do you figure out this is your thing? That you is throw a shot put. putting energy into that fucking thing by spinning. The physics behind that is really amazing if yeah. you stop for a why second to think about it. Why do they put it right by it, their fucking face? No one wants to. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to get it. Well, you know why? Because these guys were all molested by their uncles, and there was a ball bag on the side of their face, and, 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 the, movement, and the movement of throwing the testicle off your cheek led to the shot put. I was, a, I, was, I was a varsity shot putter. Well, no, dogs. you weren't. Of course you Anything were. to get big balls in your hands. Of course. <laughs> Close to the neck. What? <laughs> I know. Yeah. But Jim it wasn't. It was homosexuality every day, and I walk in here. And... <laughs> but, he, <laughs> but you came in right after my homosexual theory on yeah, shot putting. Exactly. Put. Steve used a different time. technique. He used two on the bridge of his nose. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Wait, someone else has a point. Do you know my grandfather got me interested in shot putting? He would throw the goiter on his neck, and it would bounce back. <laughs> He had a goiter. He died very slowly. <laughs> Look at this shit. Thank you. Oh, that guy doesn't spin. Wow. No, you don't have to spin. You can. You don't have to. No, you, you, yeah. you, you just have to get across the spinners the versus the non-spinners. Right? They always hate each other, like the fucking. Yeah. Uh, well, this proves you two guys all this fat neck. Look at Bob they Kelly, the top ten <laughs> shot puts of all time, Holy or something. Shit. Oh, and he's he's psyched uh, with his performance there. Can you move the mouse a little bit because it's pointing, it's poking that man in the back, Daniel. <laughs> Why do they have to wear the silly hats when they Werner measure, Guntor. When they, when they measure wow. the, the, this is the Werner Guntor. Jesus. Wow, look at his technique. He's throwing a copy of the Old Testament away from him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Nazi cunt. <laughs> Oh, they're shown in slow motion. Look at this. Damn, he, Werner. He's got long legs. He's using like his leg as. Yeah, that's how I used to do it. The... Oh, you did? Yeah. Fuck that. The shot put is swinging back to you. Oh, why? Brian Oldfield now, 75 foot. This is like the record of some shit. All right, we're getting uh, to the record. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I can't believe we're watching shot putting on a radio show. <laughs> well, the bottom line this is, is ridiculous. Why do they have to measure? Why do they just make them fucking make them out of grenades? So where they blow up, you know exactly where they landed. <laughs> 
And you don't remember uh, the Winter Olympics a few years ago when we watched <laughs> curling all week? <laughs> yes, we did. We actually oh, was watching great. curling on a radio show. Yeah, why would you dip the like the shot put in red paint or something? Yes. Make it really what easy. do you got, Fatso? <laughs> tie a string to it. <laughs> right. Oh, Hoagie Boy! Right. Hoagie Boy's coming in with an urgent communique. Why don't you shot put your stomach onto a fucking <laughs> treadmill? <laughs> Sorry, you're I'm just fucking around. Sorry, Mr. Adams. Uh, he was oh, great. <laughs> of course he was great. But apnea. What an inspiration. Yeah. But apnea, what are you talking about? Nothing. I just, uh, we're going from a one-handed. I know. I just was thinking. No hitter to apnea. Just, th uh, just thinking about getting some um, apnea masks. Mm. Just wish there was a place to go to get them. Mm. Oh. But there might be. Yeah? Where? Are you having trouble sleeping? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Gregory, are you, are you snoring? Are you gasping for breath? Is your tongue slowly murdering you by collapsing? <laughs> slowly. Your tongue's a murderer! Maybe you could help out Jim Norton, because he's having a problem sleeping, Ted. Nice, I've heard that! Yeah. How about you, Samuel? Is your soft palate collapsing like London Bridge? <laughs> it's no. a song we sing at Ted's Sleep Apnea Mask Emporium. Oh, wow. Your soft palate's falling down, falling down. <laughs> your soft palate's falling down, my fair lady. We haven't fixed the my fair lady part yet. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't quite It certainly in. doesn't happen. It's a great point. <laughs> You'll get there, though. Now, yes, there are so many masks. Oh. There are so many newfangled sleep apnea what, masks. What kind of different masks do you need? <laughs> well, you need constant air blowing into the sinus. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I've designed a fishbowl, and you squeeze your head into it. <laughs> like a diving bell. Yes, you do exactly oh, like okay. a diving bell. But the hard part is cramming in the pillow and putting your head backwards. And we have a Rolls-Royce jet engine <laughs> that blows air up your nose and into your throat. <laughs> that sounds a little bit, uh, well, not only dangerous, but probably expensive to buy a, a jet yes, engine. Yes, it's a 400000 Right. It also sounds very loud, Ted. It certainly is. That's a great point, Gregory. How the fuck are you going to sleep with no a jet engine blowing air into your face? <laughs> oh, <yay. laughs> so nobody, no one sleeps, so how does the mask even work? Well, you, at least you're breathing, for Pete's sake. <laughs> oh, well, he's got a point there. Your tongue is murdering you, Anthony. It's collapsing. Oh, it collapses. It's conspiring against you. How does it collapse? I don't it just it. kind of lolls back. You know, the tongue was told to stand. Down. <laughs> you must push your because the tongue's not on your side, Bubba. <laughs> Sounds like a conspiracy. Yes, it, it violated the most basic protection things a tongue can do. <laughs> it collapsed on top of the throat and murders people. <laughs> Reggie White's tongue is a murderer. Uh, I also have a very good idea for drivers where you could take a hose and allow the exhaust to blow into your nose directly. Oh, Ted, well, now you would know, be very Ted. dangerous. Come on, you know that that's carbon you. monoxide. Yeah. I don't know. I've given quite a few of those machines out. Nobody has called to tell me how they like it. <laughs> Looks a bit great. They're probably all snoozing. Well, you never get calls from happy people, so I guess they're doing good. That's a great point. And the whole fishbowl yeah. thing, what happens is sometimes the jet engine blows dust into their skull swelling <laughs> so people can't get it out so they have to break it. You have to break your fishbowl every morning. <laughs> that yes, you do. Are you expecting to make money off this idea? I certainly am, Gregory. I, all i got to do is sell 300 of them and I'm rolling in the dough. <laughs> rolling in the dough. <laughs> uh, so that's, uh, what is it, Ted's? Ted's uh, Sleep uh, Apnea Mask Emporium, Anthony. And what do you sell? Sleep apnea masks and apparatuses. <laughs> masks. <laughs> well, I, all right. And then I, there's the one where you could just duct tape it over your nose and mouth because those straps are so uncomfortable. Well, I think that would uh, cause a lot of breakouts and stuff. Yes, that's an excellent observation because I offered the strapless mask and people really wanted it. So I'm like, here, just tape this on your face. <laughs> tape not included. That sounds like a bait and switch to me. That's a good point. Yeah, that's what the yeah. lawyers are calling that it. <laughs> and the jet engine is very loud. Yeah, it's very loud. And it just blows air directly into the fishbowl, which your head is 
music and you're on a pillow. That doesn't sound very uh, well thought out at all. I've been told it's uncomfortable. I certainly won't use it. And what about fuel? Like, how do you fuel a jet engine like that? It's got to be. It's well, not very cost effective. Well, I guess you're going to have to go to Ted's portable gas pump emporium <laughs> and buy yourself a little gas pump. Well, you need jet fuel for that. Yes, you do, Anthony. <laughs> not easy to get, Ted. Very difficult, Gregory. No. <laughs> it sounds. Uh, you would be surprised. How much, how, how much money have you lost on this idea so far? So far, I'm down 2.5 million in research <laughs> and lawsuits. <laughs> people are going blind when their life partner breaks the fishbowl in their head because they're suffocating. <laughs> I think it would be hard to get zoning for yeah, a, sure. a very difficult. For yes. jet engine. I never thought of any of these things. But I figure there's a lot of plane crashes and things. Just let me have those engines. I'll save you the trouble. Uh, and how, how safe could it be to have a turbine winding in your in your yard like that when an animal... Yes, or... you'd be surprised how angry people get when their engines are missing. <laughs> Because they, they tend to jam the engine. They get curious. Oh, mama, look, air. No, mama. stay away from that. Mama. Mama. Uh. mama, giant swirly thing. Yes. Could, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yes, and then there's a scream and a loud clunk <laughs> and a splatter against the wall. And darn it, you're going to be up for weeks, not sleeping and gasping and grieving. You might want to put uh, baby proof that shit. Put That's a fence a around point. it. I probably yeah, yeah. should. Maybe put a fence around that tent. Well, I had a so warning sign happen. posted. If you you're under the age of two, stay away. Oh, oh that's, no, that's, that's, that's got to work. Man. Thank yeah. you very much, yeah, Gregory. Yeah, 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 very good. <laughs> Another emporium that's going to not do well, Ted. So oh, far, wow. the financial aspects are not as I'd hoped. <laughs> I figured I'd sell these things and be rolling in glory. Roll. <laughs> What's your stock up to? What is the Emporium stock up to? Well, the share is worth $4 million, but I only have one, and I own it. <laughs> <laughs> one share. Yes, my portfolio is not good. $4 million, yes. wow. one I share. I invested a lot of money in soybean hats. Why soybean hats? Because I figured they're delicious. <laughs> but you don't you want wear to wear a hat, stay dry, and then have lunch. That was the tagline. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Ted never learns. No, he's um, another bad idea. Not yet. Yet another horrible idea.